Hi, Nixie. It's Mark here with a uh, video response to your um, Kodak ZI-8 um, review. Uh, Nixie, there were a lot of things uh, wrong with that review. Uh, so many, I'm not sure where to start. Well, let's begin first with the uh, fact that you didn't have enough lighting when you were showing the camera, so we really couldn't see uh, the features that you were describing on the top and the sides of the camera because it was too dark. You need to get a little bit more light in there so that you can actually uh, see. Perhaps uh, you would refrain from, from doing reviews during the night, maybe during the day there'd be more light in the room where your, where your computer is so that you can, you know, open a window or something and get some bounce light happening and, uh, like I'm doing right now, uh, review during the day. Um, the, the other thing uh, is that uh, the issue with the light balance, what firmware is in the camera? They have recently, Kodak that is, has recently uh, released firmware version 1.06, which is supposed to address several of these issues, including audio issues with the built-in sound mic, as well as uh, issues with uh, color balance and exposure, uh, particularly in low light. So you might want to go to the Kodak uh, website, look up the ZI-8, look up support, and there is a firmware upgrade that you can download, put on an SD card, stick in there, and, and, and you can actually do an automatic firmware update on the camera, which is supposed to fix a lot of problems. Now, concerning the .mov format, this is not an obsolete format. This is the QuickTime movie format, which is a very professional broadcast quality designed from the ground up, broadcast quality audio video codec. Uh, I understand that Vegas 8 can't take it. Try Vegas 9 and see if there's a patch upgrade for Vegas because they probably already addressed this issue. Also, your uh, footage that you're showing as examples is horrible. I mean, it's so shaky. How can anyone really see anything? I mean, it's like it's all like a blur. Okay, so uh, you're going to have to take better footage to show as an example of what you're talking about because, frankly, your footage isn't really very good, uh, Nixie. Uh, I have a suggestion, though. Um, you can get these little things called monopods. The, they are, as the name implies, like a tripod with one leg. Manfrotto makes them, and they screw into the bottom of the camera. And if you, you can extend those to the ground and then move that around on a, on a monopod, and then you'll find that you won't need to turn on A, image stabilization, and B, your shots will be a lot sharper People can see what you're trying to shoot. Uh, everything will be steady, not blurry. Um, also, um, you made a remark about footage being washed out. Well, this washed out is a firmware adjustment. So this goes with what I said earlier about uh, updating the firmware or checking the camera to make sure that you have the latest release which I believe is 1.06. They may be up to 1.07 now, I don't know yet. But if you check out my blog, you'll see the problems I've been having actually trying to buy a ZI-8. I've done a lot of research on pocket camcorders, including the uh, Flip, which you do mention in your review. And uh, I think the Kodak uh, does blow the Flip away. Um, uh, however, I'm still trying to get one from the company. <laughs> uh, that's another completely different post. Uh, in any case, uh, I uh, thank you for your review. Uh, it was interesting and uh, have a nice day.